What you doing? I am writing postcards to why, the boys. Why are we making you write postcards to the boys? Y'all are making me write postcards because you guys really want my children to be a part of this yeah. adventure. And yes. I can't thank you enough for that, by the way. Oh, no problem. But we want to see who gets home first, right? I mean, it's not oh, just right. all in vain. We want to see. That's right. We're going to mail them tomorrow morning. You just got here tonight, so the post office is closed. We'll mail them tomorrow morning, and we'll see who gets home first, the postcards or mama. <laughs> the race is on, the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> Getting ready to cry. Getting ready to what? Cry. <laughs> Why? Moose, behave. I'm excited, but I'm nervous because I'm going to eat a buffalo. You're not eating a whole buffalo. You're eating a buffalo like burger. The butt cheek of a buffalo or something. <laughs> Don't puke. No. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. Not at all. It's like cheeseburger to me. I was gonna like, his is almost gone. Mm, it doesn't taste bad at all. It's different though, for it's sure. It's like really lean mm -hmm. beef. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have, it's super lean, is what they call it. It's good. It's good. It's different. I think my brain was just playing tricks on me where, but it's really good. It's actually really good. If you finish it, then we'll know it was really good. If you don't I'm going finish to take it. Another bite. It's just, I'm trying to tell my brain it's okay. It's okay to eat buffalo. <laughs> Thank you. It is, it is really good. I'm not lying. These top parts right here are shallots. When they're young and supple, you can fry them up, eat them, called shallots. These right here are the onion greens. Now, you want the greens to actually be green, not storm damaged, so you wouldn't eat the yellow. But like this right here, you dice up and put in um, like a salad, you know, like... So they're pretty much already grown? Yeah. And then there's an onion bulb down in the bottom. I don't know how good this film is because I'm talking and doing. But down in the bottom, see, you can pull up an actual onion. Oh, dude. And see, oh, this is a good example. Except the this top right here, which have shallots, but it got storm damaged. This is as big as it's going to get? Yeah, they're more like a pearl onion. And they're not as stout as like a big yellow onion. Uh -huh. wait but wait they're good. See, wait till you smell it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Girlfriend. And just dump about half of it out and do this other side and then Oh shoot, it looks really scary. Oh dang, it looks scary. It looks like a dead carcass of a sheep. Okay, now you gotta okay. open that ball up just and just start. It. I'm just gonna grab no, it. No, the part that's around the tree, just about do half of it. You only have half the tree left to do. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. It's it definitely is a lot different okay. than now I Now get can. you a little bit over there and do the other little corner there. Yeah. Now get some from the bag. You're not going to have enough. Sorry. Okay. You got to oh, get more. Oh, this was... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we don't waste anything. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, this, this wool is what's going to keep these watered in drought. Okay? okay? We live in drought conditions through three to four months of the year. And California does too, right? Yep. And all the sheep farmers have this wonderful resource that they can put around their trees. And when it rains, it holds in. And I have never watered these trees in 10 years by doing this. We've never watered these trees and they've never died. Ooh la la. Yep. Okay, and so like that much? Or how do you, or you want some Just more kind of bulk right it there? up. Yeah, like see how it goes out wide? You're doing like a mulch ring with nasty wool is what you're doing. <sighs> Okay, you know what? Can I use the whole bag? Yeah, I think it's going to take it. I didn't think it would, but just do it. It's better to have too much than too little. Oh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> right. But, I mean, it can be. Oh. oh, I swear it moved. Oh, sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to swear. Hold on. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. What's that? This is a good resource, though. Yeah. No, I mean, I see the positive in it. I definitely see the positive side of it. It just, it's just, hey, kitty, no, you don't want to come over here. Really oh, yeah, don't. she does. Save yourself, girl. Save yourself. Well, this is kind of exciting because it's different. You know what I mean? I'm used to, like, yeah. 
I've never heard of Well, while ever. we do animals and stuff, we do a whole, and I don't want to say horticulture because we just do this for the kids I that come here and we do. in the tree. I'm, <laughs> I'm trapped in here, yo. Save me! <laughs> the tree ah! is covering. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> There we go. She's <laughs> released the from the beast. Oh, shoot. But I didn't know. <laughs> yep, and we only have two and a half bags left to go. Oh, yeah. The only one that has had anything, any problems, the trees, is that one right there got some kind of disease, but it wasn't from the wool, it's from the ground. Um, mm -hmm. And I had a guy out here who does like horticulture, and he said, if it makes it, it makes it. If it dies, don't plant anything there, including tomatoes. Okay. Um, look here. This is our butterfly garden. That's a butterfly bush. See all the butterflies? They love the pollen and they pollinate everything in here in the garden. In the winter, we put the bird feeders. One broke, I have to fix it. But in the winter, this becomes the garden because all of this will die back, but come back each year. And then the um, bird feeders. And we have a little thing where we can sit and watch, which it got knocked over. There's strawberries over there, pecan trees over there. I like marigold. that bench over there. That's that's the tiny house that's going up and that's a, a fire pit right there in front and so and these are apple trees pear trees another apple tree and peach trees where's this going um well that little one needs some more any of them that need more we just use all the wool because we don't waste okay so, so almost yes and we're almost done so i'm turning off the camera to help okay all right okay. so now what are you doing i am about to have try another thing this time it's not Buffalo burger, which ended up being like really good, and I ate like four patties of it. This is Indian tacos. Yes, made with Indian fry bread and turkey. Right. So I just it, it's food. It's, it looks good. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, yes. The bread is weird. No, it's very. It's like fluffy air. You would expect something hard like a tortilla. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's probably not as Mexican as you would like. Tacos, thinking tacos, it it really doesn't scream tacos, does it? No, it doesn't. But what are you doing, it's girl? Sitting on a cow. No, you're not sitting on a cow. Oh, you're I'm sitting, sitting on a bidet. I'm this is a country, country bidet. It's a bidet. This is a country bidet. I'm yep. sitting on a real cow, y'all. Like this is a real like, not a horse. See, there's teeth in there. There's teeth in there. Yeah, I'm going around so they can see that it's it's she's there. She's not propped up. She is really I sitting there. I didn't know this big. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I didn't know that. A little cow. This is a little, a little cow. cow. She's actually little. She was bottle fed, and so she she's small you know, like in stature. Can you lay on her? What do you mean? Like lay on her? Like, yeah. Can I lay? Lay on down. Her? <laughs> I got a cow. Look at the, and the cow's wearing the hat. Look. She's so beautiful. 